The human brain is often considered the most complex structure in the known universe, with billions of neurons communicating and processing information in intricate patterns. But what if I told you that the similarities between our brain and the universe go even deeper than we could have ever imagined? That the cosmos, with its vast network of stars and galaxies, may hold clues to the mysteries of our own minds. And that the very fabric of space-time itself may be woven with the same patterns and structures that make up our brains. As we embark on a mind-bending journey into the cosmos, where science fiction meets science fact, and the lines between reality and imagination blur. According to renowned physicist, Sir Roger Penrose, the human brain is like a universe in miniature. Means, while the universe is a vast network of stars and galaxies, the brain is a network of neurons that process and transmit signals throughout the body. Despite their vastly different scales, both systems rely on networks of interconnected components to function properly. Recent research suggests that the connections between the neurons in our brain and the galaxies in the cosmos are more than just a coincidence, says neuroscientist, Dr. Franco Pestini. Let me explain this the neurons in the brain are connected by a network of connections, or synapses, that allow them to communicate with each other. This communication is essential for the brain to function properly and process information. Neurons transmit signals to one another through these connections, forming complex networks that process and integrate information from the senses and other sources. Similarly, in the universe, galaxies are not randomly scattered, but instead form clusters that are connected to each other through a complex network known as cosmic webs. These webs are made up of dark matter and are responsible for shaping the large-scale structure of the universe. Just as the neurons in the brain are connected by synapses to form a functional network. This is the idea that patterns and structures are repeated on different scales, whether we're looking at the branching patterns of neurons or the branching patterns of trees and rivers. The great physicist, Richard Feynman, once said, nature uses only the longest threads to weave her patterns, so that each small piece of her fabric reveals the organization of the entire tapestry. This statement holds true for the brain and the universe. The universe, too, is full of patterns that exhibit self-similarity. From the smallest subatomic particles to the largest clusters of galaxies, the universe follows a similar set of rules and patterns. Specifically, 2.5 millimeters of the brain looks like 500 million light years of space in terms of how the patterns are organized. At the core of this idea lies the concept of fractals, which are intricate patterns that replicate themselves at various scales. Fractals are present in countless natural phenomena, such as the branching of trees, the veins in leaves, and the contours of mountains and coastlines. If we zoomed into the tiniest levels of the cosmos, we can see patterns that are eerily reminiscent of the human brain. It may sound unbelievable, but the evidence is mounting that the universe may be brain-like in structure and function. Just as a snowflake reveals intricate and beautiful patterns as we zoom in, so too does the universe reveal incredible complexity and organization as we delve deeper into its mysteries. The second similarity is that both neurons and galaxies are connected in a network-like structure. Both the brain and the universe share a unique network pattern known as scale-free. This means that their networks consist of hubs with numerous connections and many more nodes with fewer connections, resulting in a distribution that follows a power law. In the brain, each neuron is connected to thousands of others, creating a small world network that facilitates efficient communication and processing of information. Meanwhile, in the vast expanse of the universe, galaxies are connected through gravitational forces, forming a network that is also scale-free. While the exact number of connections per galaxy is not well defined, the pattern is unmistakable. The scientist who first pointed out the similarities between the patterns and structures of neurons in the brain and the galaxies in the cosmos, is the American astrophysicist, J. Richard Gott. He coined the term cosmic web to describe the large-scale structure of the universe. Regarding the comparison of the brain and the cosmos, the similarities are quite startling. 
The self-similar forms repeated from the scale of the whole visible universe down to the scale of the human brain is amazing. It is tempting to speculate that this self-similarity at different scales may have some deep significance. If you look at the distribution of galaxies on scales of billions of light years, it looks very much like a neural net, a bunch of cells and tendrils. And if you look at the firing of neurons inside a brain on a tiny scale, it looks very much like a bunch of galaxies. Many more scientists came out with mind-blowing ideas but here's where things get even more fascinating. Theoretically, the universe could achieve consciousness, as Sir Roger Penrose explains, the cosmos could be capable of understanding itself, but only if it comprehends its position in space and time, and how it relates to other things. According to him it is possible for the universe to develop a form of consciousness or self-awareness. Let me explain this. The universe is a vast expanse of space, time, and matter. It is constantly expanding, growing, and evolving. And yet, amidst all this chaos and complexity, there is a simple truth that underlies everything, only conscious living things grow. The way in which the universe is constantly expanding. This growth is not simply a matter of random chance or blind forces at work. Rather, it is the result of a conscious and intentional process, one that is driven by the very fabric of the cosmos itself. The universe itself can be seen as a conscious and living entity, one that is constantly striving to grow and evolve in ever more complex and sophisticated ways. Moreover, recent studies have shown that the universe may be capable of processing information in a way that is similar to the brain. This has led some to speculate that the universe itself may be a kind of cosmic brain, capable of thinking, processing, and even creating new forms of life. However, for this to happen, the universe would need to have a deep understanding of its position in space and time, as well as its relationship to other things in the cosmos. Essentially, the universe would need to have a complex cognitive capacity similar to that of the human brain. The more we explore, the more we realize how much we still don't know. The brain and the universe are like two great mysteries, begging to be unlocked. And yet, amidst all this complexity, both the brain and the universe have the power to create something greater than the sum of their parts. The universe can create massive structures and cosmic events that can defy imagination. And, at the same time, both the brain and the universe exhibit a sense of organized chaos. They have the ability to balance seemingly random elements with patterns and structures, creating a beautiful and intricate tapestry of life. Every discovery brings us closer to understanding our place in the cosmos, and unlocking the secrets of our own minds. So, let us continue to explore, learn, and push the boundaries of what we know, and maybe one day we will have the answers to the ultimate questions of our existence. Thanks for watching. Please do like share and subscribe.